You can't even murder someone, right? This place? I built this place. None of this would exist if it wasn't for me. You're just Rick's lackey. Rick ended the war. That's more than you ever did. And he's your friend and your mentor. You know what's funny? Is you can't go back to Alexandria because you know who is still there. Welcome to Doc Row Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I'm Josh. And today we're here to talk about Gregory from The Walking Dead. And the actor maybe a little upset that his story arc didn't go the way that he wanted. Yeah, guys. So uh, the actor Xander Berkeley, who played Gregory uh, from season six to season nine, felt that his departure was truncated to accommodate the looming exit of Lauren Cohan in season nine. So yeah. no. Lauren left after season uh, after episode after the eighth episode of season nine, and Gregory was killed in the premiere episode. So we're going to be going through some of the information that yeah. he revealed. And guys, this also will contain a spoiler for the Walking Dead comics. So if you are currently <clears throat> reading and you're not up to at least issue one forty one get caught up and then come back. Yeah, and I do want to preface before we start this video that this is nothing against the actor. He actually oh. was amazing. I loved him perfect in the show. Casting. And I think he, yeah, it was the perfect casting. Mm -hmm. He was the perfect Gregory. I yeah. mean, it looked like him. Just his attitude. Uh, it was great. I love the way he did. And actually, after reading this article, I kind of see where he's coming from. Yeah, it's just interesting how we can take an, a character that go, that we're reading from source material. We can't hear a voice. We can't see mannerisms. But we're getting it through the writing to where it just easily transitioned over to the show to where the, uh, yeah. Xander just did a perfect job. Mannerisms, tone, and just kind of a, a prick. Basically, yeah. you you love to hate him. Basically, yeah. Um. So, guys, yeah. In the premiere episode, New Beginning, he was executed by Maggie after he attempted to take her life, uh, with a knife. And previously, Maggie was also uh tried to be killed by a drunken Earl, um. But those didn't happen, and he was executed. Rick saw it. Everyone saw it, and they were actually quite surprised that Maggie did this. But they understood. Yeah. You know? Now, in the comic book source material, what what occurred there was actually. Gregory never wielded a knife. He actually tried to kill Maggie uh, by poisoning her with a glass of wine. Mm -hmm. uh, now, when that happened, um, there was some unrest, and I think Maggie at the time, I can't remember, it's been so long since I've read the source material, made the decision that she had to kill him. Yeah, he was jailed by <clears throat> Jesus, actually. That's and right. And then after they discussed what they were going to do, Maggie decided to kill Gregory in issue 141. Yep. Uh, so a lot of you might say, well, a lot of this happened in the exact same way. Yes, his story, in a sense, was told strict, straight from the comic books. It kind of ended up in the same way, changed up a little bit. But we want to get into some of these comics that uh, Mr. Berkeley mentioned about this. And a lot of this I do understand. So he says, um, I just think that they truncated it that first episode of the night season with too many other things going on. They didn't quite savor the moment the way it could have been. Uh, and I didn't quite buy Gregory pulling a knife on Maggie. I kind of like the idea in the comic book of him poisoning her. Yeah, that's that's I, that line right there kind of sealed my my uh, agreeance in this particular uh, set of mind or, or this this is mindset of this actor. Um, Gregory it just didn't seem like the type that would not just not take matters into his own hand because he did with the poison in the source material, but. He just didn't seem that confrontational as far as getting a knife. Like, mm -hmm. it, he wouldn't have done something like that. Yeah, he mentions that he felt that Gregory was more di more diabolical in order to think of yeah. a way to poison her rather than killing her with a knife. And he felt that they kind of rushed it because, you know, Matt, uh, Lauren Cohen was leaving that season. So he, he's saying it felt more rushed to get him killed so then Maggie could continue the story and take over Hilltop the way it happened in the source material. But he was just kind of feeling that it didn't give his character justice. Not that he was wanting redemption. He just wanted it to be done, I think, a little bit better than what they did in the show. And like he said, he would have loved to have done the part in the comics, thinking his character, that would have been his character's choice rather than He's not really a he's not a fighter. Maggie yeah. would overpower him easily. That, and that's him. the thing, right? You know? He's not a fighter. Um, and I, I he, he is more of the let me see what kind of uh, 
plans I can make to ruse this this person and 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 you know more of a backstabber really. I always called him a snake. Yeah, he's that a, is that is exactly what it is. He's a snake. slippery snake. A slippery snake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I totally get where he's coming from, and not just because of source material. I think the character. Because of how he felt of Maggie coming in, taking over, I think he would have been more vicious and be like, you know what? I'm just going to silently take her out and she's just gone. Yeah. And then I'll just continue on with my day. Yep. But it didn't happen that way. Yep. So, um, and so, yeah, he kind of goes in a little bit more. Do you want to read that part there? Yeah, sure. He says, I think people are more complex than they are generally allowed to be portrayed in television shows and movies. And that's exactly right. Like, you know, it, it, it it's... It's sometimes hard, right, to transition mm -hmm. to that medium once you, especially with a comic book. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and it is expedient to make them simpler so that people can follow it and, and not get lost in the muddle. So, I get why they were simplified and sometimes unnecessarily so to keep things moving along and to make it clear for the audience. Yep. He can't, he continues to say, I tend to be the P of the personal taste to not like to be told how I'm supposed to react to a story or character so that I can be conflicted, so that I can make up my own mind as an audience member, and I like that kind of complexity, but that was never going to be the case with this character and this show. Yeah, and that last line right there is kind of a teller right there. It seems like they were telling him, here's what we want to see out of Gregory, and he was like, wait a second, I'm supposed to put my own spin on this. And... Of course, we're not actors, so we don't... I mean, they're going to do what the writers and the studios are going to tell them to do. But you would think that they would have some... You know, they're they're in this character. They're going to give their own their own ideals of what this character is going to do. Yeah. They're going to... You know, I'm sure they butt heads with the writers and the producers, but... But here's my thing. Like, you're absolutely right. And the director or whatever, um, you know, AMC, the showrunners, they're going to tell him what they want to see out of Gregory. But guess what? He had been playing Gregory for two, two and a half seasons by then. Yeah. So we already laid that groundwork of what Gregory was like and would have been like. So I could understand his point. To throw that in there like that in that season and kind of rush things just wasn't Gregory. Yeah, and you know, the actor said that he felt that uh, it was kind of disappointed that Gregory was uh, very douchey and it was he Gregory was in a one dimensional corner and he wasn't able to it kind of gave him a disservice to his character how he felt so when I first saw this article I thought my first inter my first thought my first thought was your character died the, like it happened the same way as it did in the source material that's exactly you know what I felt I was like Man, he's just bitching because, you know, uh, he was killed off on a show. And that's just reading the, the article title. Then yeah. you actually read it and you're like, yeah, I, I understand what he's saying. Yeah, it, exactly. it, it makes exact sense yeah. because I would have loved to have seen that different side of him as well. I'm actually glad I read the article. Obviously, I did the video, so I'm glad I read the article. But if had I not read the article, I always would have had that because I've, I've heard about this before we decided to do a video on it. And I've always felt that like he was always complaining because mm -hmm. he wanted to stay on the show. Right. And that's not the case. Yeah. And, you know, he kind of mentioned his character didn't get, you know, redemption. Well, mm. you know, we're saying a lot of redemption around where you're like, well, Negan's getting redemption. Other people have. It's just more of Gregory, how the actor felt that, okay, yes, I tried to kill Maggie, but I could have changed. I could have seen how Negan was just this, you know, big thing that was taking over us and they're going to fight Negan so this could allow me to live and be amongst the people but at where the story was going it wasn't going that way Gregory yeah. was backstabbing them every chance he could get trying to kiss the feet of Negan and Simon and Maggie was like look we're not standing for this well, and it, whose side it, are you it, on comparing basically Gregory and Negan is apples and oranges oh I'm not comparing yeah I'm not really no I'm just saying when it, we're talking about redemption, hey redemption, redemption. Wise, oh yeah, like, yeah. that's different know, yeah. yeah Gregory didn't smash people's heads in um true <laughs> but it was just the I, just, I liked Gregory a lot I, I mean too. even though he was a snake it was just a different side of a character that you don't normally see. I mean, in The Walking Dead, we see villains. We see people who take action, who kill, who maim, who eat other human beings. We don't really see somebody who's trying to come up with schemes and do snaky things in the background quietly. Margaret. 
Uh, Margaret, yeah. <laughs> Quietly to, you it was, know, it was just, assert himself yeah, back. It was just those little things like that it, yeah. that I loved about the character, you know, not saying Maggie and saying Margaret or calling her a different name purposely almost like he was trying to get to her. Yeah. Um, and, and gathering the, you know, the, the sentiment of the community and trying to bring them into his side and, and pitting himself up against Maggie. It was great. I, I really did enjoy the character. And of course it didn't work out. No. Sorry, Gregory. No. But uh, let us know your thoughts on this, guys. Do you agree with Xander Berkeley that his character was given a disservice that it could have been done a different way and I think a little bit better? Uh, now that I think about it, it was kind of rushed. It was like, boom, yep, yeah, he's did it. Let's kill him. But you read the source material, it's kind of the same thing. But I think in the show, they could have done it a little bit better. And I totally agree they should have done it the way the comic book was. I think that yeah. would have been more diabolical for his character and yeah. how the character was. Absolutely, guys. So. Let us know what you think of this uh, article about Gregory. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you're always notified when we upload new content. Follow us at Knock Pro Nation on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Josh. I'm Jarrell. Wow, that was quick. I know. <laughs> We're Knock Pro Nation. We're out.